Hello everyone, um, 1st of April, I hope you all had a good Easter and um, are ready for the rest of the year, three, one quarter down, three quarters to go. Anyway, um, obviously the clocks went back over the weekend, so but the, the evenings are going to be brighter. What does that mean? Well, I've always mentioned and I've said it a few times this year already that now is the time if you're looking for a second hand house more houses should be coming into the marketplace. Um, basically, the psychology is houses are easier to sell. They look better when there's more light. And also on top of that, people who would have made the decision to sell their house at the beginning of January would take a month or two um, or, or three to get it ready to bring to the market. So hopefully if you're looking for a second house and haven't seen anything as yet that you like, that that may now um, change. Okay. so. What happened in the month of March with regard to the mortgage market? Well, one of the banks, Premier TSB, reduced their interest rates. Now, they've, they've reduced their four-year fixed rate by 0.3%, and they've introduced a new three-year green rate, okay? What this now, what this means is they've reduced the rates without the European Central Bank having done anything. There was another meeting in Europe and the noise is coming out of Europe again is that rates will be coming down possibly as early as June seems to be the best bet at this point. But obviously that's still not fixed in stone as yet, but we will keep you updated as we know more. But so when the banks of Prime DSP have kind of are probably getting in ahead of um, the other banks with where they anticipate rates to go and trying to steal a competitive advantage advantage other banks may follow soon um, and if they do obviously you'll hear it here first and um, notice and this is for people non-european people really are, are people who are sending money back home to help family um, one of the banks is now taking what i consider to be a very poor view of this i was trying to find the right word they're almost viewing it as a loan or as a commitment um, and I don't really, really think that's fair, but that's the view they're taking on it. The advice I'm giving people who are sending money back home to family is do it in a different way. Take cash out, give it to give it to a friend to send back. Because if your bank accounts show you're sending money back home, unfortunately, one of the banks are now saying they consider that to be a commitment, even though it's voluntary. So that would be the way I would get around this, but they don't know. Okay, maybe it's not the best advice, but I really don't think an individual should be being penalized for helping family if it's voluntary. But anyway, that's how I would suggest dealing with that. Other issues that I'm seeing cropping up at banks at the moment now are, again, foreign nationals who may have credit reports or bank statements in non-English. They are looking for official translations of that. So that is something that again can slow up this process. So keep that in mind as well. So that's really all I have to report on for the month of March. Um, number of applications, the, the level of demand is still as high as ever. So I, I don't see that going anywhere. Um, so the one thing I, I, I brought to your attention again last month, but I think it's so important I should say it again, if you're looking for the help to buy, even if it's not till later in the year, get it sorted now, put an application in the your, the revenue are almost taking two to three months to, they've got such a backlog. So get it in now so it doesn't cause you a problem later on. So anyway, have a great April. Hope to be talking to you very soon. And obviously if you've any particular questions around what I, I think I may have said, just drop me a line and we can take it from there. Bye for now.